Creative Continuity. We bring the convention to you. Hal Gain here, Creative Continuity at RetroCon with James Wolf. Yeah. Well, what got you started becoming an angry video game nerd? Pretty much started uh, when YouTube started, so it was just very early on, uh, in the early days of YouTube. And I guess if you really go back, it started since I was a kid. I mean, because that's, that's where it started for all of us. When we were kids, we played all these games. Mm -hmm. So uh, I used to record myself a little bit when I was playing, but that wasn't the main thing I was doing. I was mainly uh, trying to make movies. There's any kind of art. I think movies was the kind of art that I settled on because that's like, uh, movies are like every art combined. It's visual, right, it's right. audio, it's everything. Um, video games is just kind of like a hobby. So of course, every now and then I'd record myself playing games and commenting on them and stuff. And uh, I had no idea that all these years later that would become such a big thing. So uh, when YouTube started, that was when the, well, there were three nerd episodes out at that time. The first two were just on VHS. They would just collect dust in my closet. But once YouTube came out, I made a third one. Was like, okay, let's we'll post this online now, see what people think. And then it with each one after that, just got bigger and bigger. Few friends only saw the first two, which was uh, Simon's Quest and Jekyll and Hyde. Those okay. were like the pilot episodes, if you will. But uh, once YouTube started, we did the Karate Kid episode, and uh, people liked it. They thought it was funny. And then with each one, it just became a bigger and bigger uh, crowd that was seeing them. So it was kind of surreal. I didn't know so many other people remembered those same games right, growing right, up. Right. You transitioned into a, a full-length film that you yeah. did. I believe it was last year. You showed it here at RetroCon we last did, year. We did, yeah. Uh -huh. now, yeah. How was that response? Oh, it was amazing. It's really like a crowd reaction kind of movie. So when you see it with the live audience and everybody's like laughing at all the right parts and it just the crowd was just amazing. Every mm. every time we showed, it's the same, same kind of energy, and uh, yeah, it's just uh, I like doing video game conspiracy type things. You know, things that are fiction. Usually, I like making up made up things to go along with video games. And the story of E.T. and the landfill it was just perfect for a movie, and the movie was perfect for the nerd. So it's just the kind of thing that just uh, was perfect for that character to go through and make it into a big adventure thing. So, and, and it combined everything that I love. So I got movies, I got to make a movie, but it's video games also, mm -hmm. it's the nerd. So it kind of just, it fills every every uh, you know niche that it could. All right, you're, you're yeah. quite the conspiracy theorist too. Oh yeah, for, for fun though, not for real, but not, like not fun for real? ones, yeah. Oh, okay, uh -huh. okay. Well, yeah. What was one of the biggest conspiracies that you feel that you uncovered or stumbled upon. Oh, it must have been like that one, the whole E.T. landfill thing is a famous one. But uh, I, I guess if you go with real, uh, the Sword Quest one, if you know about like the treasures with the Sword Quest game, mm -hmm. real life hidden treasures and we still don't know where those treasures are to this day. But uh, the conspiracy ones, like the ones I like to make up is like that Mario 3, the game is satanic and it's it's a product of the devil <laughs> and it's it, because the game's so good it's a sin. So um, we uh, broke it all down where like there's subliminal messages in the game and stuff like that. So that's just stuff I like to do for fun, you know. Right, now you also did work with Doug Walker and a number yeah. of people. How did that collaboration come about? Oh, uh, when we first uh, met Doug Walker, well, uh, he uh, was doing just some videos, I guess, and, and was uh, we just kind of crossed over and he would start doing videos about me and I started doing some back to him. It was just very natural, just how it came about, and then we eventually was like, you know, it would be really funny if we just like had a, a fight scene between the nerd and the critic. So we did that, and people liked it. So uh, and since then, we've been great friends. So what's that. it like working with Lloyd Kaufman? Oh, and he's he's funny. Yeah. yeah? Uh huh. He's hilarious. Um, yeah, he's uh, great because uh, the nerd movies kind of in the style of the trauma movies a lot, and. You know, he paved the way for independent filmmaking. Right. You know, for like over 30 years now, and uh, um, so uh, what Cinemasker does, and every everybody today making those kind of films is, you know, owes a lot to Troma. Um, but yeah, he uh, saw the trailer to the Nerd movie, and uh, uh, somebody from Troma uh, connected us, and then uh, since then we've been, uh, you know, we always do stuff together. So whenever he's in town, he lets me know. The Return of Nukem High uh, came out, it's volume one, and then Return of Nukem High volume two, so it's like Kill Bill kind of, it's the two volumes, but I have a, a cameo in the second one. Uh, so we, we trade cameos a lot, because Lloyd has a cameo in the nerd movie. I'm trying to make uh, more movies, but the shows I have going on the web series, uh, the other one's Board James, and that's mm -hmm. the, the board game show, 
and I've been putting a little bit more cinematic stuff into that, especially lately. So that's a lot about, um, you know, there's a storyline going on with it. And, um, and then I, there's a show, You Know It's Bullshit, which is uh, about just things that are bullshit, mm -hmm. just random everyday life stuff. And then uh, uh, usually trivial things, which makes it funnier. And then Monster Madness is all horror movie reviews we do every October. Uh, I do top 10 videos. Right now we do the simple, uh, I guess, sort of let's play videos, where it's me and Mike. It's James and Mike Mondays. We do it every Monday. And that is uh, just playing games with no script or anything and just seeing what happens. Because the nerd videos, they're all planned out. You know, I, I uh, am very... Uh, uh, perfectionist about the nerd videos. I get them all right. I want to get the, the commentary right. Do a lot of research for them. Wow. Hours and hours of gameplay. Cut it all together. But but James and Mike Mondays is just kind of like the loose version. Just two guys sitting on a couch playing a game and what you see is what you get. Best place is Cinemassacre.com. That'll connect you to the YouTube, the Facebook, everything else kind of, you know, that'll point to everything else. Nerd signing out. That's right.